Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting. There's an illusion that has been completely shattered here. Six of Cups in reverse. There could be an illusion here that has stopped you, blocked you, delayed you, perhaps from um, revisiting something from your past. Not necessarily like going back to like a past relationship, but for some of you, um, there's an experience. There's something from your past that maybe you're still seeking some kind of closure from. The Ten of Swords is here in the reverse. This is like beating a dead horse. Um, this could be the end of some type of deception or betrayal, but it's like you're going towards a sense of freedom and pride. Yeah, because you're manifesting something here. The moon. The moon is in the reverse. Three of cups in the reverse. Five of Cups in the reverse, Ten of Cups. So, someone here, you could be finding out the truth about um, a group of friends, family members, or a community here. Um, you may have been for a very long time wondering where exactly was some type of, um, let's say, energy coming from. And it, it was definitely tied to a particular person, place, thing, situation. I'm hearing for some of you even, um, there could have been a gift. Something could have been given to you. Hmm. Something could have been given to you. Here, you're standing in the upright six of wands as the magician. So whatever you're trying to manifest, it's bringing you a great deal of abundance here. Um, Victory, success, um, recognition for some of you, popularity, fame, even. But it's just interesting how all of these cards are here in the reverse. The Ten of Cups and the Three of Cups in the reverse. It's like you are absolutely not celebrating with something. And something was, it either brought you a, a lot of um, unhappiness, discomfort, despair even or it was meant to the queen of pentacles is here in the reverse with the will of fortune in the reverse somebody did not learn a lesson here about coming at you the ace of cups is in the upright and then the seven of swords queen of pentacles in the reverse could be a capricorn virgo taurus Someone who has that heavily um, in their chart. But with the judgment card in the reverse and the will of fortune in the reverse. Somebody, I'm hearing somebody, they just didn't, they didn't learn. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. This is, um, yeah. You're, you're finding yourself abundant despite whatever this is. You're you're abundant. All of this negative energy here, it really has nothing to do with you. The Six of Wands, the Magician, and the Ace of Cups. You're manifesting love, self-love, happiness, joy, peace, and contentment. But this is what someone tried to take from you. Three of Cups in the reverse, Ten of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, this was all a plan. There was a plan, a scheme, a strategy. To ensure that you were stuck. For sure in like some type of grief or despair or regret. In, in an illusion of some sort here. This is something that was done in the past. Or you have history with a person. That could have done this to you. Yeah. you Yeah. It, it's this energy here. If you're being very dis, discontent. Bored. Maybe feeling numb. Extremely detached. But despite everything that happened, it's like with the nine of wands, you chose to be very resilient and to persevere and, and make it through whatever this mental entrapment was, this confusion, this illusion here. And you're freeing yourself. Wow. This is beautiful. The sun, the temperance, and the 
Emperor. For some of you, this has to do with a relationship. There was some type of blockage here that was keeping you from a, a, a partnership or a relationship. This emperor could be someone in your life or coming into your life, or you could be in the emperor, um, the energy of the emperor, whether male or female here. But this is something that requires with the temperance patience. Something has to be done with some kind of self-control or moderation in order to temper something out. But it's like you're free. There's definitely this liberation here. Whatever the outcome is, it requires patience still. But you've gotten out of something that was very difficult or it was meant to be. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, Nine of Pentacles and the Hierophant. You're being prepared for a serious commitment. Um, this could have to do with an institution, the institution of marriage. It could have to do with um, a person or just a group of people that have a higher level of, of of consciousness and awareness, definitely from the people that you've been around. There's an opportunity being presented to you and it's going to really help you to level up, to upgrade, to really step into this power of being this manifester here. This feels like it could be for sure like career, more so career related, something in your career where it's like something did not go according to your plans or these other people's plans, like somebody, it's almost like there's a trap here where you were supposed to be set up for some type of failure. And it, it looks like it what, it what it actually did here, because you can see a break in the energy. It made you recognize that the path that you were on, it wasn't your path anyway. Because when you saw how hard you had to fight for something, they kept you in some kind of mental entrapment and, and or an illusion, you became very dis discontent. You became disappointed by this anyway. In the sun, you decided to just free yourself and liberate yourself. And what's coming in now is someone who is a person of authority. For some of you, this, this could be, I don't know, a lover, a friend, uh, a, a mentor, an investor, somebody is coming in now to help balance things out for you. This is something that you've been patiently waiting for. So yeah, it, this was some type of plan, like a, attack or something. This didn't go according to anyone's plans. I don't think you saw this coming. Nobody was, was planning to see you be redirected in this way. And this has been coming up the last several readings that I've done as of lately about this, this tower, this rerouting um, that is, I'm seeing it happen for a lot of people in the collective where something just fell completely apart, but it's allowing something much better to fall into place. I mean, whatever this is, though, it was it was a lie. It was a facade. It was a an illusion. It was a trap. The moon in the reverse. The five of cups in the reverse. It's like you're not you're not stuck, though, being in any type of regret because you already recognize here the seven of swords. You see that there's that there was a plan. There was a plan here to block you from going through an awakening, becoming conscious and aware of something here. The whole point was so that the wheel of fortune would not turn for you. So somebody really wanted you to be the queen of pentacles in the reverse, just stuck in a loop of wanting more, needing more. Yeah, but the tower came in. There's a, heavy, a very strong masculine energy here. That um, heavy Sagittarius energy here with the King of Wands falling right underneath the Temperance. Aries energy with the Emperor card here. I don't know if a mask, if this is happening to a masculine or if a masculine energy tried to block someone. 
the Empress. Let me see. Is this King of Wands pursuing this Empress? So now you have the Empress and the Emperor out here. The King of Wands and the Temperance. Somebody could have tried to really block like a, a partnership, whether this was romantic or business. And what happened is somebody recognized the plan of destruction here. They recognized it far like soon enough, like far enough in advance to be able to transmute it. The three of swords, yeah. Somebody wanted a person to be heartbroken. Nine of Cups. Somebody is going towards this feminine that they see as wish fulfillment. This King of Wands is this Emperor energy. Wow. Somebody went to very, very, very great lengths to try to stop someone from taking action here. But it, it's all lining up perfectly. The Sun, the Emperor, the Empress, the King of Wands, Temperance, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and then the Hierophant. Somebody here is working on security and stability. Someone is working on peace of mind and happiness. This is Yin and Yang energy. The Emperor is here with the Empress. So somebody was, some. there was, there was a, um, Ace of Swords is the truth. There's a blockage in your life being removed when it comes to your partnerships. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Two of Wands, you've been waiting on this. Stuck, complacent, maybe expecting the worst. The Death card. So you were expecting it. It's, this is the energy of it's like, you know, you're hoping, wishing, planning, expecting the best, but be prepared for the worst. I feel like someone here, you knew to prepare yourself for the worst, but this is still working in your favor here. Somebody here, your gift of, of foresight it obviously showed you that this was coming. You knew this. Or you're connected to somebody that knew this. Again, this doesn't have to be romantic. This could be in a, a partnership, whatever. Somebody is fully aware of the fact that there's a, a snake somewhere in their family or in their friend group. If this is some type of connection, one of you are dealing with... Um, Shady energies within your friend group or like with your colleagues or something like that. And then one of you could be dealing with this same situation, but it it's in your family. What I'm getting very clearly from this is someone here has a monitoring spirit that has manifested in their friends groups or in their family. If this is a connection between two people, one of you, you're dealing with a monitoring spirit in your friends group. The other is dealing with a monitoring spirit in their family. You will know which is which because you may be very close to your family. They may be very close to friends or vice versa. But there's a monitoring spirit that has been assigned to watch and monitor a connection It has manifested and shape-shifted its way in your circles to figure out what's happening. This is the this is of course it's the work of of the devil because it's two people coming with, with the empress, the emperor, and the son. It's two people possibly coming together to birth something that will be pleasing to God. So of course, all of the agents of of the devil are coming against whatever this is. This is interesting because I just saw something um, a 
few days ago and it was it was talking about the Bible. It said you don't see, you don't really see or hear about Satan going up against the first sighting of Satan going up against um people in the Bible was when Adam and Eve obviously had marriage. Marriage and procreation being fruitful, abundant, and multiplying, doing something that could be pleasing to God is going to, of course, attract the enemy, lower vibrational energies and entities. This is some type of monitoring spirit here. It's an entity of some, some sort or kind that has closely monitored a connection. It's, that's what it is. No need to stay on this for too long, but this this is, for many of you, what the problem has been. The Hermit, Two of Pentacles here. This was to make you become very imbalanced so that you would just retreat away from something, so that you would ghost a person or they would ghost you, perhaps. But I feel that, obviously, what it did is it made you and someone go to your respective corners and you gain some type of insight or clarity about this connection and you saw that perhaps you and someone, you're better together than apart. Despite the differences, despite the challenges, you're. this is still something that's meant to be and therefore now someone wants to invest in coming in with an offer. So you have a connection here that is most likely ordained by God. This is yin and yang energy. The emperor, the empress, and the son. This is mom, dad, child. Mom, dad, business, whatever. Husband, wife, business. Husband, husband, wife, whatever. But the temperance is here. It's, it's two people who have learned a lot about patience. And overcoming temptation. And illusions. And as I say, I know I just saw, yeah, here's the devil with the page of cups. The devil wants to minimize something that is of great magnitude in your life to convince you that it's it's no good. Once again, you have the nine of cups, the two of cups, the page of cups. This is their energy. It's playing with your mind or the mind of, of a person or people around you. So that what? Seven of Wands, Four of Wands, you will block celebrations. You will block union. You will block friends, family, relationships. You will block anything that allows you to celebrate or be celebrated. And you will just stay stuck in heartbreak. Because to be stuck in heartbreak means that the devil can always play with your mind. You will stay in victim consciousness, lacking awareness. Four of swords in the reverse, you won't rest. Six of swords in the reverse, you will not move forward. Two of swords in the reverse, you will continuously be hanging in limbo. That will lead you to making a lot of decisions with poor judgment. Five of Pentacles in the reverse, you will stay in poverty or lack mindset. The Fool in the reverse, you won't take any leaps of faith. And whatever this divine blessing, inheritance, or abundance, this wish fulfillment of you finally receiving security and stability, it will pass you by. But that's not what happened. You gained the strength to see the truth about something, to walk through the fire, to experience this epiphany so that you could actually receive this Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, with the King of Pentacles. And remember before, I said here the Queen of Pentacles is in the reverse. So there was something that was done to make someone appear as a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, someone who was not grounded, not stable, not mature, not business savvy or whatever. Because the person who is mature, who is business savvy, um, the person who is able 
willing and able to create the Ten of Pentacles with someone is coming in. So the whole plan here was to make someone confused. Somebody did something with their temperance here to change up some type of energetic makeup so that two people were not a vibrational match. This was a trick of the enemy. That's all. But as quickly as this confusion came about or these options came in to confuse a person or to tempt them, someone quickly took action. I feel like whoever, if this is you and another person, you both were quickly able to see and sense exactly what was happening. The masculine quickly took action and the queen of swords, you quickly put your guards up to whatever this is. Or you communicated to a person, hey, you need to be careful. So this could be you and two people are saying, hey, be careful of your friends. Be careful of your family. You and another person, you understood the importance of you warning one another because either you were being attacked because you are around each other or you both are just being attacked. This could be a friend, a family member, a lover, business partner or whomever. But you see here, justice is here. And the justice is that you're going to hold on to whatever it is that you've been in battle for. You've gone through a very long journey of having a lot of, of, of carrying a lot of baggage and a lot of weight. You want to hold on to whatever it is that you've manifested or whatever is coming in. So justice is being served now when you get to walk away from what does not serve you. And it's something that's been bringing you a lot of fear and anxiety. Yeah, and the King of Swords here. The King of Swords is his Knight of Swords who's going to match you as the Queen of Swords. This was the enemy that came in to tempt a person that is supposed to be in your life, on your path in some way. And this is what happens. When it, when it was hard to... To tempt you to trick you out of your spot, the enemy then began to shape shift and play with the people around you, friends and family. This is when all of a sudden your friends and family, they will purposely begin to give you really, really bad advice. Just out of nowhere. It's because they're being used by the enemy to trick you out of something that's destined for you. It's an awakening. It's a passion, new beginning. It's a creative endeavor. It's a new relationship or whatever it is. Yeah. But again, somebody was very clever with the page of swords. You were very clever in your approach of how you use the process of elimination to determine exactly where this chaos, this conflict, jealousy, and envy was coming from. And I feel like once somebody was able to dig deeper and figure out what was going on, they quickly got out of Dodge. Your strength and ability to manifest, you already paid your dues, you, you earned your stripes. You've manifested wish fulfillment. This is a major financial offer opportunity or a very stable, secure, um, committed partnership or relationship of, of some sort here. But the enemy came against you like literally like this was <laughs> the devil and all of his, his agents and minions that came against you to definitely play on your mind to convince you that you're not worthy of something that you've already paid your your dues and debts to have. And of course, if this didn't happen directly to you, it definitely happened with someone that you are connecting with or about to connect with. This is just a lot of um, illusions of discontentment. 
So let's say if you're in a job or a relationship or a friendship, you may have felt all of a sudden like extremely disconnected, discontent, very bored. Um, like you just need to get away from a person or you need to separate from someone. Yeah. <laughs> the four of swords and the three of swords. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. And the four of cups. So I, like I just said, discontent and bored. And here's the eight of swords. And it's all in front of the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. So, the enemy, whoever the enemy is, <laughs> whether it's an enemy that may be physical or, or spiritual, it is very clear that you've manifested a major financial breakthrough, an offer, business partnership, or, like I said, a very long-term committed um romantic partnership, possibly even something that will lead to marriage. Some of you, of course, you will go into a partnership and you will work with that person. You will build a a life with that, that person and it's meant to be very prosperous and abundant. So there was some type of energy that came in to make you, bring you a lot of sadness, to make you become so sad and so wrapped up in these false feelings and, and these illusions and emotions that you will be trapped, that you will just put something to rest. So this was something that was designed to make you break before you receive your breakthrough. But what ended up happening here or what needs to happen is even if there has been a break, if you've been ghosted or whatever, take this time out to rest and to heal. Take a vacation, meditate, pray, fast. Do something here to bring yourself clarity. I feel like someone created, for some of you, someone um, created a situation where you would be abandoned or isolated or left feeling very sad, but they didn't understand that you are actually in a place, space or position in your life now where you welcome like this type of like somebody here it's like you you have a, a level of awareness and consciousness where apparently you you're so trusting in your higher self or in God that you just knew like oh well if this is happening it's meant to happen this is when you truly understand okay well this rejection is protection and you just rolled with it you didn't let this get the best of you because you knew it wasn't a it was an, an illusion. This is a master illusionist here. Yeah, look at the bottom of the deck, the hermit. This was something that was projected to make you feel that yeah, nine of swords. Man, th this was definitely something like projected all this nothing but swords here. All it, it was all going towards your mind. Just somebody is just projecting or something. Nothing but sadness, illusions, confusion. So some of you have, have truly mastered um, overcoming people in your friend groups or your family or even relationships who gaslight you. This is extreme gaslighting and projection. Eight of Pentacles is here with the Hierophant Unity. Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Exactly. It's nothing but abundance here. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Number five, the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. This was something here to block someone's financial breakthrough. I mean, I am picking up romance, but for some of you, your romantic connections are going to bring a lot of abundance. You see how this lining up? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven of Pentacles. You already planted seeds. This takes patience. A lot of hard work. Eight of Pentacles is hard work. It's working overtime. Something came in to make you feel like something, it just would not work. And I feel like what it did is, for some of you, it forced you to say, you know what? Don't worry about it. I'll just try something different. And whatever you're trying that's different, 
is actually perfect. It's like, you know what? I can't get a job. Forget it. I'll just start a business. I can't find a job or whatever. The, you know, somebody's like, oh, don't worry about it. I'll just go back to school. So whatever this attack or trick is, it actually, <laughs> yeah, it's like somebody tried to delay you or detour, detour you from your path. It actually helped you to find a shortcut. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. So you're planting the seeds. You're working hard. You're going to be rewarded for your hard work. You eventually will be able to enjoy all of life's luxuries, the simple ones, the extravagant ones, Ten of Pentacles. You will go into a partnership if that's what you want. Or this is a creation of generational wealth or whatever. The unity card is here, which is the Hierophant. So this is you doing something that is structured. It is traditional. You're also, this is um, you becoming open to like-minded people. The unity card is here. You're going to start connecting with people in your community who are just like you. I'm really seeing, um, for some of you, you know, it's, it's like, um, I'm seeing in my head right now because I saw a flash across the TV a few days ago. Um, I don't know which streaming service it was. It could have been Netflix or something, but I guess there's a movie called First Wives Club or maybe it's a TV show or something, but that's, that's what I'm seeing in my, in my head right now. You're, you're about to be possibly the first at something or you're about to like your, um, something about your status is changing. For some of you, it is you're about to become married or you're about to become an entrepreneur or you're about to go into the next, you know, tax break. It's something like that where obviously something came in, rushed in, you know, to try to, like I said, stop you, block you, delay you or whatever. It rerouted you towards something or someone now that's about to really accelerate your growth. And for some of you, you definitely have um, someone coming in offering you a very serious high level of commitment because you have here the Hierophant, the Knight of Cups, and the Four of Wands. The Knight of Cups is definitely, for, for many, oftentimes, it's a romantic offer. You could have someone inviting you to a wedding. You could have a person that's inviting you to like a wedding or a gathering, or you're going to start meeting people who are going to start inviting you to different conferences, events, or whatever. And in doing this, you're going to actually meet more like-minded people that you could do business with or possibly the person that you may decide to do life with. But see, what the enemy wanted was for you to be stuck. Four of swords, three of swords, Four of Swords, Three of Swords, Four of Cups is like you stuck, completely depressed. Unable to even think about your goals or dreams. Eight of Swords, being completely mentally trapped. And then in isolation with the Hermit, the Nine of I mean, literally you have the Three of Swords, the Four of Swords, the eight of swords, the nine of swords. And then three and four jump to eight and nine. So somebody or something came in to, to hit you hard and then they, they doubled up on it to really drive it through. Like, I need you to, to like be broken down with this projection and gaslighting. That's what it is. What it did is it forced you, this isolation forced you to go into a period of self-discovery, prayer, meditation, fasting, isolation. Maybe you took a trip or whatever, whatever you did, you came out with some type of idea now that that's going to be your breakthrough. Let's just see here. Yeah, look at that child orphan. So somebody or something was trying to really play on your feelings of, of abandonment. 
But see, what somebody doesn't recognize is that you have or you will soon overcome your issues with abandonment and rejection. And you will learn the importance of surviving independently. I talked about this recently. A lot of people are, I'm single, I'm single. You're single, but you're not independent. You're single, but you're still codependent. You depend on other people for advice. You depend on other people for financial help. You depend on other people in the case of an emergency. Single is nothing to to, to rant and rave and, and write home to mom about. So what? You're single. It doesn't make you an independent adult. You're single. So what? I'm assuming for some of you, maybe you don't have a lot of people. You could be considered a hermit. And, and somebody may have mistaken that as you don't you don't have help or assistance. You don't need help or assistance. <laughs> you got it. You got it on your own. You're good. Yeah, look, networker. You're building a network. Something is definitely about to change with your, your social life. But this has something to do with your network of friends, colleagues, or even family. Somebody thought that they could spread lies or false information. These illusions, misconceptions, misjudgment, whatever, biasness, prejudice. Somebody thought that they could do that and it would, it would, it would, it would, um, isolate you. It would, it would, so the, the, the goal here was to cast you out of something. Network or mentor and gossip. Father and companion here. So for some of you in your network of friends or family, there could be a mentor or someone that you saw as a mentor who supposedly was supposed to be there to kind of guide you, take you under their wing. This person gossips about you. This person, to your face, they're saying that they're helping you. To others, they're saying that you're you're hopeless, you're you're worthless, um, or whatever. This person is also playing on your mind, especially if you are in an environment with this person. You live with this person, work with this person, you're dating this person, or whatever the case is. This person is is coming in. As if they're like a father or a companion. It could be male or female. I'm picking up, obviously, from the cards. This could be a man, a person who you probably have respect for, like a father figure. This person was supposed to be a guiding light, but what this person has actually been doing is projecting a lot of negativity towards you and gaslighting you. It's almost like for some, you have a person, they purposely are gaslighting you so that you will not actually find your own footing in life and, and go out. This is someone who recognized that you are magical. And then with detective here and eternal child and prince. Wow, slave is here. Hmm. Samaritan and child wounded. So let me just tell you here what's going on. And then you have pioneer. This could be a man or a woman, but I'm picking up a masculine for sure, a, a male masculine. This is someone here who has been in a mental entrapment because of the false teachings, the leadership of a father figure, a mentor, a person of authority in their life who they thought they could trust. They thought that this was a faithful and, and loyal friend or companion to them. This person doesn't realize or they are now realizing that for some of you, especially in the spiritual community, somebody has gotten like some have done 
like a reading or gotten information. I'm even getting where someone could have found out about a person's life even when they were younger and realized that someone was destined to become um well all these pentacles out here someone knows that person is destined to become wealthy um they're meant to be the first that remember before i said i saw that first wives club somebody is meant to be the first and so somebody came in playing like they are going to rescue a person and be their guide and whatever but somebody here was trying to guide a person in a direction that would lead them to a mental entrapment and almost like the word slavery is coming to me because I see this car slave. Somebody here is pretending like they're a good Samaritan, but they actually are trying to mentally psychologically abuse a person to beat somebody down because the only reason why some I feel someone would do this is if they feel threatened by a person. So someone is threatened by someone's success, their future. So they've been mentally, emotionally, and psychologically abusing someone but this could have gone undetected for a long time because this is most likely someone that you or a person that you know who may be going through this. This is someone that they held in high regard. They thought they could trust this person. Somebody here could have gotten connected to someone because of a lack of finances. Because there is definitely an exchange here where someone is helping someone. And somebody thinks that because they're helping a person that it, it, it means that they have ownership and control over a person. This could be someone's father. Like I said, a father figure. This could be a boss at work because, you know, they're, they're writing the checks. They can dictate and control when you go, when you come. They can talk to you and treat you any type of way. This could be someone's lover. This could be the, the father of your children. If you are a woman, this person feels like if they pay the majority of the bills and they can gaslight you and manipulate you and, and put you into hermit mode, you know, isolate you from everyone, try to con force you to believe that you're not worthy of anything, but that's not true. And someone now is going out into the world and about to start connecting with a network of people that is going to actually welcome them and show them that, no, you are actually a person of great value. You were just in the wrong place. Um, somebody is like, you know how people say, it's like, you're the perfect, you're the perfect gift. You were just delivered to the wrong location. This also could be someone, like I said, a family. You know, you're, you, you have all of this great potential, but you're just, you're in the wrong family. You're with the wrong group of friends. You're in the wrong environment. You're in the wrong job. Who you are and what you have to offer to the world it's not meant to be where you are. So someone has to branch out now. Yeah, guide and healer. Midas and miser, exactly. Somebody has tried, has taken advantage of a person who needed help. There's a lot of cards out here suggesting this is a mentor, it's a guide, it's a parent. It's a spouse. It's a companion. This is a person who is abusing their authority. And there, there's a financial component. You know, I gave you a place to stay or I let you drive my car or, you know, I, I contributed to your business idea. I helped you pay for school. You know, I, I helped you pay your bill five years ago. So you owe me for the rest. It, it's, it's something like that. Yeah. And somebody knows that you or whoever this message is about has the Midas touch. Somebody is jealous of someone's ability um, to make money or whatever. It's just somebody is, there's something that a person is missing. 
you know, maybe it's like someone will be an excellent entrepreneur, but you know, people say it takes money to make money. The only thing they're they're missing is money. If they if they had just that that investment or whatever, they would instantly become very very wealthy. Somebody has has watched and studied the person and realized that hmm, the only thing they are missing is a. So they're they're making sure that you just kind of go around and around and around and you never get whatever that missing component is. Or somebody is like, hmm, the only person, the only thing that person doesn't have in their life is a really great relationship. So it's like there's an energy here that is being projected so that you don't think you're worthy of a relationship or you don't really want to go out and meet or you know different people or whatever. This is the enemy that's just watching like, yeah, I'm gonna make sure that you don't get the one thing that you really need or that you want. Wow. And here you have release. That's the death card. This is over. You can move on. You you learn the lesson. It's a spiritual transformation. And then here is, oh my goodness, the will, the fool, and then the justice card. You're going to receive justice for someone, the five of cups, trying very hard to make you miss an opportunity or trying to make you feel um, five of cups, like you're very disappointed here when it comes to you making a choice to do something in your life that's going to bring you wish fulfillment. The lovers could be making a choice to be in a relationship or making a choice for um, to bring about, you know, some type of financial wealth or independence or security or stability for yourself. Somebody was doing something on purpose, though, to ensure that you did not make this decision. But what's coming in, yeah, like I said, somebody knew. The three of wands with the, the devil card, you already knew. Somebody here knew, okay, new levels, new devils. This is like saying, okay, I already know I'm about to get this opportunity. So let me go ahead and buckle up because I know here comes the devil. And you were right. Ace of Cups and the Star. You were right. You You knew it. You were absolutely right about this. But what's coming for you now is happiness, joy, peace, contentment. You being able to fall in love with yourself, fall in love with a person, fall in love with a job, um, a career, a business. The Ace of Cups could be a new child. It could be a new home. But this is your destiny that's coming. Because you made a decision, two of wands here, to go through your awakening. Hangman, energy, and the emperor. This is a divine masculine that's going through this. This masculine has awakened, whether male or female. And they're taking action now. They're saying, whatever mom did, whatever dad taught me, or this mentor, or this business partner, whomever somebody's realizing, this was a snake. This, this person was manifested in my life as a monitoring spirit to keep me stuck and stagnant. So that I would not become this pioneer with the Midas touch. Which is who this person has always been. So really all someone has to do right now is make it a point to get out of the space and place that they're sharing with this person. Or if you are in any type of contracts, you need to get out of it with this person. For some of you, you could be the divine feminine watching. This could be happening with your masculine. Um... There, th this is coming to an end where they will be able to cut ties with this situation, whatever this karmic contract is, and you will start to see improvements like things shifting. And if this is related to love, for some of you, you could even be you could be the divine feminine and or or masculine, it doesn't matter. But um, this whatever this blockage is here so that someone will not be able to be the first, you know, husband, wife of the family or whatever. This this feels like some very deep, like, type of jealousy. And it feels very much like it's in the family. Where somebody is like, yeah, somebody knows that a person has someone that is their main attraction that they can marry or whatever the case may be. This feels like, a, um, honestly, like a, a jealous, envious, um, Family member. This this family member is like a karmic. They're like a counterfeit, though. They they are actually like a, a shapeshift, like I said, a monitoring spirit. They're an agent of the devil. Like the devil uses this person because of 
something that they have not addressed as far as their shadow, they're easily dictated and controlled by the devil himself. So when the devil wants to get to you, it's going to use your friends and your family. And this person, they're perfect for because they embody their energy of jealousy, envy, narcissism. So they were the perfect person to gaslight and project. Past life. This, I'm, I'm pulling cards now um, for those who, you know, you have... Yeah, this is for some of you, when it comes to a relationship, it's a past life connection with someone and you're going to receive exciting news. So like I said, for someone out here, you're, you're a person, they are freeing themselves from whatever this like monitoring spirit or agent of the devil is that has had them blocked from being able to take the necessary actions in their life so that they could be better aligned to do things with you in your life. Yeah. This is a soulmate for you. It's a past life soulmate. There's going to be um, deeper intimacy. Yeah. You can expect this person now that they've gotten this clarity for them to come in and embrace you. And they're going to be more open to falling in love. This could be someone who has a lot of trust issues. They haven't been able to find a safe place where they could be free because when this, this person was betrayed in the family, the friend group, or the environment where they thought they were going to safety. So it's sort of like somebody, they went towards, um, somebody was looking for like safety and shelter coming out of survival mode and they fell right into the arms of a snake. So now, you know, this is you or someone you're dealing with or you both can resonate with feeling like, you know, who can I really run to? Who can I trust? It's like you go from, from, from bad to worse. But this was all part of someone learning. Somebody, this, this is for sure, this is mental abuse. Psychological abuse. And I'm feeling strongly it's coming from like, um, someone's family member, a friend, or a companion. I'm feeling bit, um, strongly family. But this is because someone is, um, like I, I keep saying that first, while somebody is about to be the first in their family to do something that has to do with wealth and or family. And so they had to battle almost like a, like a bloodline entity in order to break this. Yeah. Soul ties here and yin and yang reciprocity. Yeah, this is a past life soulmate. This is your spiritual other half. There's going to be reciprocity here. Friends with benefits, money and finances. So this could be someone that's been like a friends with benefits situation. They could have a lot of trust issues, be very afraid of offering reciprocity because of the, the mental and psychological abuse that they've gone through, but you have your romance and happily ever after. Now that this clarity is coming about this darker energy here, someone is going to be able to move forward. This is a major blockage. So it's like if you're, if you've been blocked in love with going towards marriage, maybe you come from a family and People in your family, like, they don't have successful marriages. Or you come from a family and people, you know, they don't really have um, financial independence or good money management skills. That's something that you are the pioneer. You're chosen to, to break that off of your family, off of your bloodline. You could very well be coming into a connection or a union with someone where you and this person, both you are chosen. Soulmate, twin flame. One of you could come from a family that's, you know, in poverty and you're meant to be the one that's like, okay, you're going to, you know, have wealth. One of you come from a family where there's very unhealthy relationships. You may be the first in your family to be like married and really successful. But you had to go through some type of cycle here to recognize the truth about, for many of you, like, the way that um, the enemy will use friends and family or even lovers around you to shapeshift, to try to keep you in 
a mental entrepreneur in the matrix. And I feel like this is something that has been done too many times, but apparently as of lately, most recently, you decided to go within and figure out what was truly happening here. And this time you were successfully able to gain the clarity that you needed to recognize that, okay, this has to do with the hierophant unity. This has to do with traditions. This has to do with um, outdated beliefs or family or, you know, something just, I don't know, like somebody is challenging the status quo in some way. Yeah, two of wands. They're making a decision to go against family and traditional viewpoints. Because this is like, it really, is, it's someone in the family, perhaps, who is keeping the secret that they are the reason, their mindset that they've picked up from several generations is the reason why the family is not actually progressing. You're the one to say, no, <laughs> this, this, this family curse was a, you know, it, 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 it was doing this thing until it ran into me. This, this hex, this curse or whatever, when it ran into you, it's like, no. And this is definitely for some of you, it's an attack on your family, on your, your bloodline, your lineage when it comes to traditions, when it comes to religious backgrounds, culture, traditions, and especially marriage.